there was so much drama around this palette that I couldn't find myself swatching it or playing with it. I didn't want to get disappointed, you know? But I believe it's time to just like stay on my little makeup corner and mute all the drama and just finally play with this baby. Hola mi gente, thank you so much for being here. Welcome to my channel. My name is Mariluz and I finally am going to play with this little baby right here. The Lock Collection from Morphe in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. So in this video, I'm going to swatch all the palettes for you. And I'm also going to try and create a simple look to see how it performs in the eye. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to mention is the packaging because this packaging is gorgeous, you guys. It's so pleasing to the eye. Like, I just don't want to touch it. I just want to leave it in a little box and not even ruin it, you know, because it is so pretty. Now, I did get the Vault Collection, which means, which means I got the box and the little, like, the four palettes that it comes with. I did buy it directly from the Morphe website, but if you want to get them, you can get them in Ulta. In Ulta, they just sell them in individual palettes so this box doesn't come with it but if you got the vault or if you want to buy the vault the four palettes come with it i think it was like for 45 dollars if you buy the vault but if you buy them individually um, at ulta it is 15 dollars per palette now the vault comes with this little like tab and you can pull it for easy access so they're not like stuck in the box and it's hard to take them out because they're like pretty tight now each palette comes with a different color story and each palette has 10 shades and they have different names the box itself where the vault collection is has like different color schemes right here like merging all the color story in this box but when you open the little palettes and you take them out each palette has their different color story so for example this one has like an orange color story this one has like a yellow color story uh, purple and kind of like a bluish greenish color story now for the individual palettes when you open the palette it comes with this like little insert in the palette where you can just disregard and the names are written in the palette which i thought was really thoughtful and it also comes with a mirror so you can see yourself in it now this one is called ring the alarm so it has like a warm like a more warm tone color story and when you look at it it looks really cohesive it looks like you just want to create a look and you know you can get inspired by it so like i said this is ring the alarm and i'm going to show you each palette and i'm going to swatch them for you i'm really really nervous but let's just get right into it okay guys so i started swatching the palette called armed and gorgeous it's like a yellow color story and so we have the shade vip access guilt trip Coin, Agent, Top Secret, Smooth Criminal, Secure, Prowl, and Classified. Now hopefully you can tell, but the mats were a little bit hard to, not blend, but hard to swatch. And I have to build them a lot. I felt like it was like more, more like a workout on my fingers. But once I blend them more and kind of like build them up, they look really pigmented. So hopefully they work super well in the eyes. I did like the glitter shadows, like the shimmer shadows. Those were, those were really nice to blend and really buttery. But sometimes you can't rely on the swatch. You really have to play with the palette. Now I'm going to continue with the palette called Ring the Alarm. This has like a more warm terracotta kind of orange color story. And the shades are Lolly, Rush, On Camera, Boom, Alert, Bum Ass, Siren, Mugshot, Framed, and Secret. Now this palette was easier to swatch actually, but the mattes were a little bit off too, so I just built them up. To continue, I'm going to swatch the Bling Boss palette. This has like a sort of like a purple lilac color story and I really like this one. I feel like it's very different and it looks so pretty in the palette. Now for the swatches, we have Bling Bling, Hush Hush, Gem, Pizzazz, Mystic, Sparks, Glitz and Glam, Rockstar, Bossy, and very treasure again this one has more mattes so the mattes were a little tough to swatch and only one of the shimmers was a little chunky but to be honest all of these swatches and the way it performs during swatches i believe it's not too different from the first uh morphe and jacqueline hill palette the original one and last but not least i'm going to swatch the dark magic palette this one has more like a bluish but more greenish color story very deep colors and for the swatches we have poof power cut shh trickery diversion Potion, Busted, Inside Job, Mojo, and Temptress. Now this one has more mattes than shimmers. 
as you can tell and the masks were really really hard to blend especially the shade potion was really tough i tried to build it i tried to blend it a little bit more but hopefully in the eyes works better so now that i'm done with the swatches i want to create a look with this palette called ring the alarm and i feel like i just want to create a look with each palette not to like combine all of them because most likely you don't want to buy all of them this one's more like the orange terracotta color story but if you guys are interested on one of the other palettes and you want me to create a look with them please let me know in the comment section below and i will happy do so but i'm going to do this one because first i like the color story and second it matches my outfit Duh. so i'm going to use this palette instead okay so i'm going to be very honest i am not too sure of what i'm going to create but we'll see how it goes i'm going to take the shade rush and on a sigma e40 i'm going to apply that all over my crease for my transition color this one blends really nicely and quickly i did like that now i'm going to see if i can just build it up more I'm going to do like a simple look. I'm not going to be too crazy. Okay guys, so I finished uh, blending the rush color and I believe it blended really nicely. It blended so well. I'm kind of in love with this palette actually. I didn't have too much kickback when I put my brush in. I don't know if you can tell. But there's barely any kickback in the palette. So that's good news. I actually love how it blended and how it built up. Like yes so next i'm going to see if i can blend alert on it just to give it a little bit more of a transition color and i'm going to pick up my sigma e25 it's a smaller blending brush it's more precise i'm going to try to pack that i like on my crease as well again i have no idea what i'm creating so i'm just like trying to see if i can come up with something nice Okay, so the colors are too similar, so I just created just a little bit of depth, not too much. I don't think I'm going to waste my time with this color. So I'm just going to blend it up with my Sigma E40. And I'm probably going to do the same to the other eye so it matches. But I think I'm going to move on with a more uh, deeper color. Maybe like a, a more plummy color. It did blend really nicely though. I didn't have any issues with blending either. Okay, so I am thinking on taking Siren and God help me if this doesn't come out right. <laughs> on the same Sigma E25. And I'm going to apply that on my outer V first. Like on my outer crease right there. And try to like blend it inwards. Okay, so now that this makes more sense. Okay, now I'm going to take my Sigma E40 to blend those edges out. They blended really nice. I hope you can tell in the camera how they are blending. Like, I'm not struggling at all to do that. Okay, I wasn't kidding when I wanted to do like a simple look. But I'm going to deepen up the outer crease right here with the shade Secret. Just a tiny bit. And I'm going to take it on my Sigma E45. It's like a small tapered brush. I'm going to try just to deepen up. The outer V right here just a tiny bit and then blending with uh, my Sigma E25 after that now I'm blending the outer V here like the outer edges make sure that there's no harsh lines and I'm really liking this guys now I want to play with one of the shimmers it's kind of hard to tell like I kind of hard to decide so I'm going to swatch them in my hand and then decide which one is going well with the lid with this kind of look okay so I think I'm going with lolly it's uh this color right here I feel like it'll look best with the look that I have right now I don't know like these two might work well but I don't want it to be like too dark in the eyelid we'll see how it goes so I'm gonna take my one and only my flat color pop uh, brush I'm going to see if this works We'll see if we need fix plus later. So I'm going to try and see how it looks. Okay, so I feel like it just actually worked just as the normal, like the original Jaclyn Hill palette. Like the shimmers don't show up too well. So I got two options. I can either play with Fix Plus and try to build it or I can just like pick up my finger with this. This is what I would actually do with the original palette. Just use my fingers to do the shimmer shadows. So I'm just going to apply my finger and you would see... You see how pigmented it looks now? 
but if you don't want to work with your fingers then i would just suggest to build it up with fix plus and sometimes we can't be too precise with your fingers so you can try to blend the edges with a brush is it looking okay i could yeah, probably use more blending like on the outer v and just dipping deeping dipping or deepen that up so i'm going to take my sigma e25 and i'm going to deepen or oh i'm just going to take siren and apply a little bit more right here so i put a little bit of powder like like in the inside part of my under eye because um i had a little bit of fallout there but i do want to zoom you in because this duochrome shade it's like it's crazy it's kind of weird I mean, I don't want to say weird because you're probably going to understand something else. <laughs> okay, so I tried to zoom you in and like adjust the lighting here. But I don't know if you can tell like how different the colors look. Like you can see the orange in this color and the pinky in this color. Hopefully you can tell in the camera because that's why I zoomed you in. <laughs> but I do like that effect. It's like really pretty. I do apologize because I thought I was recording but actually I wasn't. So in the bottom last line I applied Siren with a pencil brush and I applied the majority of the pigment right here and just drag it down a little bit like inside my lower lash line. And then below that I used Rush and just applied that right below the potion, I mean the Siren color. So I think that's it for the demo. This is the look I created. I hope you guys liked it. And for my final thoughts in this palette, I really enjoyed it. Like really enjoyed it. I'm going to be really honest. I didn't find it too different from the original palette because the mattes are kind of hard to swatch and the shimmers are really buttery when you swatch them in your hands but when you are applying them the mattes blend really nicely and i believe you just need to use your fingers with applying the shimmers because they were not too pigmented when you pick them up with the brush now i do own the original morphe and jacqueline hill palettes the one the big one with the 35 shadows and to be honest i like these better obviously i haven't used them all but again let me know if you want me to create a look with the other palettes so um, um, I can do that for you but so far ring the alarm was a really nice palette and I liked it a lot more I just like the concept a lot more if that makes sense um, I like that they had the shades in the palette I like that it had a mirror in each palette so it's easier to do your makeup with them but not only that I love 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 that they have a color story because I believe as a normal consumer it's kind of easier to create a look because it's just so cohesive the original palette it's kind of like hard to to, to stay focused <laughs> and you know you know how I am <laughs> so anyways I think that is it for today I hope you enjoyed this little like kind of review swatching and demo of this palette if there's any more questions that you have I would love to answer them in the comment section below so don't be shy just write them up and we can all help you if I don't know the answer someone will have the answer so I think it'll help all of us also let me know if you own the Vogue collection or if you only own one of the individual palettes and which one would be and if you don't let me know which one you are planning on getting if any i would love to know now that's about it thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell notification button so you get notified every time i upload i will see you on my next video bye